worker was using a wire wheel on a sheet of metal when a tiny piece of wire shot out at high speed and pierced his eyeball. Not even an eighth of an inch long, the projectile caused too much damage to save his eye. Think this is just a harmless little screw? It was in the grass when a man edging the lawn with a powered string trimmer hit it, instantly turning it into a missile traveling fast enough to shoot directly into the center of his eyeball, penetrating the pupil and embedding itself deeply in the vitreous body. A man using a handheld sprayer squirted parts cleaner on some metal pieces. The stream of spray bounced back and hit him in both eyes. When the solvent made contact with his eyeballs, it started burning through the tissues covering the cornea. Blinded and screaming in pain, the chemicals caused extensive damage because it took him almost 20 minutes to find his phone so he could call for help. The delay cost him most of the vision in one eye and 15% in the other. A maintenance worker was refueling a generator when some of the fuel spilled over and hit the hot engine manifold, causing a flash fire. The fire was strong enough to burn off most of his eyebrows and some of his hair. The skin around his facial area received first degree burns. When he took his safety glasses off, the only part of his face that had not been touched was around the eyes. Doctors told him that the safety eyewear he had been wearing saved his eyes and without them he might have been blinded for life. Almost 70% of eye injuries injuries result from flying or falling objects or sparks striking the eye. Of the objects that caused the worst eye injuries, more than 60% of them were smaller than a pinhead. Most of these damaging little missiles were traveling at high speed when they injured the eyes. Chemicals in the eye account for almost 20% of eye injuries. Good safety eyewear is inexpensive, lightweight, easy to keep clean, and scratch resistant. Choose safety glasses that meet universal standards for proper eye protection. For example, OSHA requires protective eyewear in the United States to meet the minimum standards established by the American National Standards Institute, or ANSI. If you already wear glasses, your prescription lenses can be made to ANSI standards. Most safety eyewear also blocks damaging UV rays. And you can get safety eyewear for indoors or outdoors, and you can even get ones that are bifocal with varying degrees of magnification. Remember to wear your eyewear when working around the house. More than twice as many eye injuries occur at home than in the workplace. But whether you're at work or at home, don't be blindsided in an accident. Wear protective eyewear.